Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here and sharing this time with me and for your lovely comments as always. So um, before we get into it, as usual, I'm just letting you know I am giving personal readings still. So if you're interested in one of those, feel free to send me an email and we can talk about the logistics of that rates and scheduling. So with that out of the way, what we're doing in today's video is some positive things you can expect in June. Um, we already have the like normal, general, just whatever messages wanted to come through June reading. That is already up if you're interested in that. So in this one, we are just specifically getting some tarot and oracle to see some purely positive things we can expect for the month ahead. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and get into your group selection. Hello and welcome to your group selection. So we have three groups to choose from today and I've gone ahead and shuffled your tarot and oracle ahead of time. So for group one, we have Citrine. Next for group two, we have Clear Quartz. And last but not least for group three, we have Rose Quartz. All right, so as always, this is a general reading, so make sure to take what resonates, leave what does not. And if you need more time to choose a group or groups that are resonating most with you, feel free to pause, take as much time as you need, and I'm going to go ahead and start with group one. Hello, group one. Those of you who chose this beautiful citrine, let's see what positive things you can expect in the month of June. So we're going to start with your oracle and then get into your tarot. So for your, your first card, we have best possible decision. It says Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. So if there's some kind of decision, you're like, I don't know if I should go this way or that way. I don't know which major to choose. I don't know what to do in career. I don't know what to do within my friend group, within love and romance, within your spiritual journey, whatever it is, there's some direction, setting that clear intention, knowing what decision to make or just making the best possible decision, right? Because sometimes we sit around like, what's the perfect decision? What's the perfect decision or I'll never have another hardship in my life. And then we realize we just have to make the best possible decision. So for some of you, I'm getting this message that you're just getting clarity on which direction to go, what decision to make. But for others of you, I feel like it's also like a new perspective on decision making in general where you steer more towards just what's the best decision for me what's what's the best decision for me right now um, especially if you're the kind of person who's always trying to make perfect decisions and the pressure just kind of like weighs on you take that part if it resonates <laughs> don't take that message if decisions are kind of easy for you and you're just like i'm just not sure where to go right now but for those of you who have a really hard time making decisions and you're just kind of a perfectionist when it comes to your decisions and it kind of makes you sit still for longer than you'd like, I feel like you're getting a lot better at making decisions. So your next card is strength, strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I am power. So this can be a separate thing or it can have something to do with this decision where it's still going to take strength and stamina and you're still going to have like there's still ha going to have to be energy put into this thing it's not going to be something that just is perfect out of nowhere so again like this can be about this decision like let's say for example you're wanting to choose a new career path this might still be something that like say for example you have to go back to school for you could say this is the best decision for me but it's still going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take a lot of endurance. It's going to take a lot of patience on your part, but it's because you decide, hey, this is the best decision for me. So I'm going to do whatever I can towards that, like fully stepping into this decision versus like mulling over, should I go this way or that way? And let me dip a toe in this one and this one and that one. In the month of June, you're getting really clear, like this is what I'm doing. And I'm like whole I don't know the best way <laughs> to put this <laughs> to make it like PG, but you're really, you're putting your whole self into it. Um, if you have a tendency to wonder, am I making the right decision? So you just put kind of um, 
like half of you into it and, and another foot, one foot in, one foot out. I feel like you're really fully present in giving your all to these decisions you're making in June. You're going fully in whatever you're in, like you're all in. So we have psychic protection around me now, a shield of gold protecting me strong and bold. So that being said, it does look, does look like energetically, spiritually, psychically, however you'd like to word that, your guides, your ancestors, it looks like in June you are being really strongly looked out for. This could also be guidance and advice for you if you are feeling like, let's say for example, someone else's energy is always coming in <laughs> when you're trying to make a decision. Like, just as an example, if you have like, I don't know, a judgmental family member, someone who's always got to put their input, you should do this, you should do that. And part of you knows that you should go for what you want and what's fulfilling to you. But another part of you, it, it still impacts you. I feel like you are going to be divinely protected in June. But this could also be advice for you to make sure you're putting up like that spiritual protection. If you're someone who's like, in the crystals i've got this black tourmaline right here <laughs> like you could be wearing a black crystal in june that could be advice for you to do that so that people's energy isn't getting like all over you when what you're really meant to step into is this crystal clear intention direction and decision making and then to put your whole self into it so you really don't <laughs> you really don't have time for other people's like judgment or unsolicited inputs of oh have you thought about this have you thought about that when really you've thought of it all and you're making the best possible decision i feel decision <laughs> decision i feel like this is something you've put a good amount of thought into in june or if you're watching this at the end of may it's just it's kind of like go time <laughs> like we could sit here forever trying to make this decision but it looks like if you're resonating with this june it's time to to really sit down and try to get clear on this decision it's ready for you it's time for you to make this decision and just focus on making the best possible one with the information you know with who you are right now with the information you know it looks like that clarity is coming to you so we also have the strength card coming through in your tarot and it like slipped out, it fell out. And I don't know if you can see that, but now I have a happy little bend in this card. So <laughs> to have strength come through twice, I feel like this is also reflective of something that you've been pouring into. Like when we have two endurance and stamina cards coming through, I feel like it's still needed in your life. Like um, not to be a downer. <laughs> Not to be a downer, but you're still just because you've gone through times where you had to pour a lot of yourself into it and put in so much effort and be patient. There's probably still going to be times where that comes up as a need again, where you do have to endure, where you do just have to rely on a lot of stamina and staying power and patience to, to really stick things out so that they can get better, so they can improve, so you can build your life and become your best self. Um, we've got the Ace of Wands, but I feel like there is a little bit of a dip in the amount of energy that's needed in June. It's like, I feel like you get a little bit of a break. <laughs> if we've got strength coming through twice, I feel like maybe this was just a time where your endurance, your stamina was being tested. There was even like a drop off in the message. I was like, where was I going with that? <laughs> the group one, like, yeah, that was trying times. Oh, well, on to the next. No, what I'm seeing there is it's it's for something. It's paying off, whether that's just your internal development and you're saying, wow, look, look at how much I can handle. Look at how much I can endure. I'm glad that I'm such a strong person. But that's not just for nothing. There's going to be results. There's going to be, I feel like one, like all that Leo energy coming through, there's going to be a good balanced like pride in your skills and your abilities and who you are that you are resilient that you are strong i feel like that recognition is coming to you and i feel like there's some energy coming back to you that you just don't it's not as difficult it's not taking as much out of you that's what i'm trying to say i'm like where am i even going with this <laughs> it's it's hard to put this into words i feel like it's just baffling that literally strength came through twice so I feel like I'm maybe feeling what group one is feeling that it's just like drained. I feel like you're pouring so much of yourself into trying 
for those of you that this is about a decision, I feel like it's just weighing on you. And so maybe that's what that psychic protection is saying is like, let's get some of our energy back, whether that's just a message from your guides that they are protecting you. So you can have as much energy for yourself so you can get more inspired. So you're like less on the defensive. So you're less fending off the day-to-day -day responsibilities, less fending off other people's negative energy and judgment. You're not fending it off and holding your own anymore. June is more about inspiration and using your energy for creative purposes, creating something, getting inspired and going towards that. Whereas, yeah, like less about being on the defensive. I feel like that's coming more naturally and it's not taking as much of your energy. So in June, I think you're just going to be more energized and that could be where you're getting this more clear decision making. Could just, just think like, imagine like a thousand things flying at you at once and you're trying to pick which direction to go. There's like a fork in the road. How are you going to decide which way to go when you literally can't even see it? Cause there's too much, <laughs> too much BS coming at you and you're trying to like shield yourself, but you can't even shield yourself from all of them. That's how I feel sometimes, right? <laughs> We've got the Six of Cups. I almost said Wands. Six of Cups and Knight of Wands. So I feel like whether this has to do with that decision with the Endurance and the Strength cards coming through twice, or if this is a separate thing, it looks like June is a time to really nurture your inner child, inner teen. <laughs> like, what were your hobbies and interests? What were the things... And I feel like you're pouring a lot of energy into that, but it's energy that it's, it's more like it comes full circle very naturally because you're spending your time and energy on things that are energizing to you. You're, you're spending your creative energy on things that are energizing and inspiring to you. So it, it comes back. It's almost like an automatic exchange. Like let's say for an example, you love art, you're passionate about art. So you start making moves towards that. You start making moves in your life in June so that you can be surrounded by more art. And that's just the example, group one. <laughs> like if you, if you just really love like, I don't know, like buildings and architecture, then you could be going and seeing a lot of really beautiful buildings, things like that. However it fits into your life, group one. <laughs> but where it, it immediately energizes you, where you would think, or maybe the, the old you last month, you who just didn't have the energy to spare is saying, I can't even, I can't even do that. I don't have the energy to drive over there. I don't have the energy to even walk over to that place to get to the museum, to see the art. But now that you have a little more energy to spend, you can get over there. You can get inspired. You're driven to do that. And then it immediately just fills you up. Like you're even more, not just an equal exchange, but you feel better than when you got there. I feel like your energy is going up more and more and more versus like these past couple months, you might have felt like every little thing was depleting your energy. But in June, you've got these things that you're really inspired to do that you go out and do them, or you entertain them or you spend time with someone who's got a good sense of humor. Um, someone who's really inspiring someone who's into you can have like philosophical passionate discussions or discussions about, I don't know, like spirituality, art, philosophy, those are the things that are coming to me, like different soul searching things, people who care about what your passions are. That's another thing I'm seeing is this Knight of Wands, I feel like it is your energy, but this could also be other people in your social circle who are giving you energy rather than depleting because that's really important too right group one <laughs> if this message is coming through for you you've probably got at least one person in your circle who you spend a lot of time like filling up their energy meter and giving to them and inspiring them and i feel like june is your turn june is your turn to be receiving some of that inspiring energy and i feel like your inner child is just like yay it's my time <laughs> It's my time to be excited and go do exciting things and go have fun and just like be energized and go do things that I'm passionate about. I see you having the energy to have a ton of fun in June. Party <laughs> in whatever safe way that you feel so inclined to do, group one. I feel like there's just a lot of lightness and joy in this group, that six of cups. It's 
like really emotionally fulfilled in like a very light-hearted childlike way where like you feel like your inner child is like yes or even with the, with the knight of wands though i just feel like for a lot of you it's something that you you might even feel like you missed out on like some teenage experiences and you're like you know what screw it i'm gonna go do those things i'm gonna go do those things in june i'm gonna go have the best freaking time and people might think it's childish people might have opinions whatever remember we, what we said about the psychic protection from other people's <laughs> opinions or like that's you know something a younger person would do but if it's something that you feel like i want to go do it i want to go have like my favorite meal from when i was younger or watch my favorite show that i never got to finish watching or play my favorite board game from when i was a kid with friends something like that i feel like it's just like this beautiful missing puzzle piece it's gonna be really fulfilling okay <laughs> that got really corny towards the end but i love it group one so that is what i have for you thank you so so much i hope you have a nice month ahead of you and i'll see you next time Hello group two, those of you who chose this beautiful clear quartz, let's see what positive things you can expect in the month of June. So we're gonna start with your oracle. Actually, I feel called to just put out all your cards because I feel like your cards make more sense when they're all out. So your first card is safe travel. Keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. So if you've got some specific travel plans for June, I see them going well, having a good time, being safe. <laughs> now that can also be advice to be safe. If you're someone who tends to be a little head in the clouds, your guide might be saying like, hey, just make sure <laughs> that we don't party too hard. We've got dream sweet, sleep deep, sleep that's deep and last till morn, wondrous dreams for days reborn. So if your sleep's been a little rough, if you've been having weird dreams, if you haven't been feeling like your sleep is rejuvenating, you don't feel well rested, if your energy has been depleted, I see that your sleep might be getting better in June. But again, <laughs> sometimes when we say positive things to expect, it can also be advice from your guides saying like, if you know your sleep hasn't been good and you know you're having that evening coffee or you're having your sweets right before bed, we might have to make some changes and then it's getting better in June. We might have to make some changes and then it's getting better. Your last oracle card is destiny. All that I shall need, all that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. So there might be some more like, this feels a little more like spiritual, cosmic, getting messages about what you're meant to do, but in a more passive way. <laughs> I know I said I was going to get all your cards out, but I wanted to get the initial message from each card. So we've got the Queen of Cups. Great time for emotional receptivity, a good time for deep emotional connection with your loved ones. Or if you're someone who's wanting to dive into a romantic relationship, this could be a good time to get into a relationship or really, it's less about specifically romance and it's more just about emotional receptivity than really like a deep closeness, a deep emotional and spiritual closeness in your relationships in June. So that can be saying you're going that next step. If you do have some friends or a partner and you're just wanting to have a little more depth in your relationships, you're sharing something really personal or feeling like someone's finally opening up to you. We've got the Eight of Wands, so I do feel like in June, one of the blessings you can expect is really good conversations. So whether this is someone new, I'll just say this, whether this is someone you already know and you're just going like extra deep emotionally and spiritually with them, or if this is a new person, you're gonna have to take that as it resonates, but there's some really good, like really deep, actually substantial, meaningful conversations going on and we have the empress so it's just a really good time to take care of yourself and your emotions feeling really good in your body and feeling really good with your emotional like not just stability <laughs> but if you feel like you, you actually want to process some things emotionally and really feel a lot of positive emotions or if you feel like there's something you want to clear out like oh let me deal with this let me open up about this to my therapist or a close friend and then you're feeling like really safe in your surroundings and in your body there's just a really beautiful 
like being in that receptive mode in June, I don't know if group two tends to be like doing and doing and achieving and striving for the next thing, but it looks like June is more about you receiving because we've got like double queen energy, the queen of cups and the empress. And then we've got this page of wands coming through. Let me see what's coming through with that page of wands and eight of wands. Okay, <laughs> so this might be, now I'm saying like positive things to expect in June. So you're going to have to take this as it resonates. This is most likely going to be different if you're single or in a relationship. The page of wands and eight of wands, there could be someone who is feeling a lot of passion and attraction to you. So if you're in a relationship and you're feeling like the passion's gone down a little bit, it could be going like, I don't want to word it like that. Getting, <laughs> there's there's like plenty of passion in June. That's what I'll say. Passion and communication of that passion. Like someone being flirtatious or someone, hopefully if it's, you know, <laughs> we open that door for them that they would want to express that passion in some way. So that's what I'm going to say about that. But in the non-romantic side of things, this can just be talking about things that are like silly, fun, funny, and your passions with your close friends, with your loved ones. So it's not all, you know, when we've got this Empress and the Queen of Cups, I feel like if you want to express something deeper emotionally, you're going to be like having a safe space to do that, to have really meaningful conversations, but also having someone in your life, much like I got, this is really similar to the energy I got at the end of group one. And I use the same deck. So I feel like it probably would have been the same cards, but they got the Knight of wands. And I feel like there's just room for like silliness and fun and inner child healing for you. Just talking about those things that it doesn't all have to have some kind of super deep meaning. This is someone that you can just like say silly, like stupid jokes with. And you don't have to think like, was that too superficial? Was that too this? Was that too that? You're just like having a lot of fun in your social connections. Looks like June for the collective I'm reading for. I don't know exactly what the messages are for group three, but <laughs> two out of three, we're just having a really good time socially. And then for group two, if you're open to it, this could be developing into something romantic. Now I'm saying that because of the Queen of Cups and the Empress there, because you are in a very magnetic, attractive state in June. So you might have to be really choosy, <laughs> especially just see it for what it is. Like if you are single, this is what I'm going to say. See it for what it is right now. If it's a page of wands, and the Eight of Wands, this could develop into something more serious, but this is not necessarily anything serious. So if you're if you're looking for something serious, that might not be what you're looking for. <laughs> and, and the positive thing coming to you in June might just be a little ego boost that you're like turning people down left and right, having a fun time, joking around with your friends, but then you have that depth too. So getting back to what these cards were with a safe travel, and getting that Eight of Wands, getting that Empress card, even the Page of Wands too. There could be some kind of travel that you are excited for in the month of June, but this could also be that there's some abundance coming to you or some kind of generosity or new money coming to you, a raise, some kind of abundance. Because when we're in that Empress magnetism, a lot of times just things just start arriving on our doorstep. We've put out the energy and then once you actually sit back into that Empress energy, and that makes so much sense with your sleep card I'll get to, there could be abundance coming to you that it just kind of shifts the way that you're living your life. So this could just be a mindset thing where you're feeling more abundant, you're feeling more, I want to say like more emotionally well. I don't want to say more emotionally stable because that sounds a little weird, but just you're feeling a lot better emotionally. You're feeling really good. You're feeling like you've got emotional energy to spare for those who matter to you. Like this is a very nurturing energy. So I feel like you are giving and receiving nurturing energy and that's yours and others. I know that sounded weird, but I feel like there's others who are, if you're a social person, who are actually opening up that door where, where you can have a shoulder to cry on if you need it or if someone's offering 
something nice to you. Someone saying, hey, do you want to go on this trip with me? Do you want to go on this nice date with me? Do you want to have a little staycation, vacation, whatever it is? Or with the Empress, it could even be something more along the lines of <laughs> group two, if you're into like, uh, I just I just want to say how it's coming through but like some kind of luxury item like something that's just nice for the sake of being nice like if you are someone who needs like a really comfortable bed and you have to spend a little bit more you could be having the money to do that like even with the sleep card like you're doing the best you can to take more care of yourself and I feel like that's positive that's having a positive snowball effect so do what you can right now end of may moving into june for i know this is going to sound corny i know everyone says it but really this is a really good time to just show yourself that like hey you matter and i'm going to take care of you i will nurture you because <laughs> this is like very motherly energy so really 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 giving yourself the self-care that you can right now and then I feel like you're getting more and more means to really, like, honestly pamper and spoil yourself. <laughs> and I feel like your, your sense of self-value and how much you deserve, and this came through in a recent reading, I think it was on Patreon, but in a very different way where it's just for June, it's more, it's just more about receiving these things so I feel like you may have already done like the groundwork for this you've done like the deep diving for it you've done the like running around and starting new projects opening the income stream so you can receive abundance and it's like now for this destiny card it's like can it just pay off now <laughs> I just feel like June is more about receiving and I know, like, with, with this very nurturing energy, I feel like that might be counterintuitive to some of my group twos, and that's okay. It doesn't mean you can't give it all, but I feel like it is maybe going to be a bit of a challenge. <laughs> like, I feel like it's a really good, I don't know why I'm feeling that. Let me know if there's anyone in group two that that's accurate for, that this is maybe simultaneously exactly what you know you want and need right now, but it's it can still be a challenge. It can be a challenge to receive compliments and nice things and generous offers. And if you're usually the one nurturing others and taking care of others, especially if you're like, say you're like an actual parent, then you're used to taking care of your kids and you, you finally have a night off and you're like, I don't even, I don't even know what to do anymore. <laughs> I don't know what to do when I'm not taking care of someone. What hobbies I, I forgot I had those so this could also be like you know getting back out there and being more social than you have in the past few months reconnecting with some friends that you haven't had as much energy for and I, I feel like for some of you it's not just that it wasn't prioritized but that you might like group one I felt like there were just other priorities there were other things that had to come first so now maybe there's some energy you're feeling more inspired you're feeling really like like this fire this spark like this spark coming back to you and you have more excitement you have more energy and more excitement so you can focus on those things in june all right and then in the more like spiritual sense with destiny here if you do feel like you're at a critical point where you're like what am i meant to do what am i meant to share i feel like in june one you could be getting a lot of messages through dreams if you are someone who's into lucid dreaming and astral travel that could be something you're working on because we have safe travel and the sleep card but with destiny i feel like this is more about that queen of cups and empress energy just keep coming back to that that's what i'm gonna say because <laughs> i feel like there's a lot of abundance physical material like money abundance coming your way as well as emotional abundance an abundance of like care and nurturing in your relationships and positive fun communication in your relationships, good times shared. Those like smaller moments that really just mean a lot when you look back on, when you look back on the times that you're laughing with like your close friends or a loved one or your kids or something. So I don't know, maybe that plays into your destiny card here. Is there something about your connections? There's something about 
like the part of your like destiny that's enjoying that's not about like the doing what are you doing to fulfill your destiny what are you doing to help others but what are you receiving and what are you experiencing that's what i feel for group two <laughs> so that is what i have for you group two thank you so much and i will see you next time Hello group three, last but not least, those of you who chose the rose quartz, let's see what positive things you can expect in the month of June. So for you, we're gonna start with your oracle cards. Your first card is victory. Yours are really like externally positive. <laughs> like we had a lot of like the internal journey and development for the first two groups and group three is like, hey, here's some, here's some external worldly wins victory i shall celebrate and i shall rise i will let victory make me wise so of course there can be internal victories there could be some kind of like moral victory you saying like you stuck to what you the way you wanted to be you stuck to your authentic self and you still came out on top and that's a good victory and that probably does play into it <laughs> but for some reason i'm feeling like like group three is really already on that like internal stuff and that's it's the messages just seem to be more about like you're putting in this energy you're putting in this energy you stayed diligent you kept going for it and now it's paying off so you can define what that victory is if that's a moral victory <laughs> and i'm not saying like it's lesser i'm just saying what i'm feeling this seems like group three gets to enjoy some kind of really really tangible obvious payoff like let's say for example you're looking for work, you're looking for a new job that you would enjoy, you've been putting out all these applications and you get one. Like there is your really obvious victory. Let's go, we did it. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Or like you've been trying to work hard to get a raise or like you asked for some time off, you asked for some more hours. It does feel really material. So I am gonna probably use work related. <laughs> Um, examples that I feel can resonate with a lot of people but if it is something else like if it's relationships that's okay for your second card we have harvest as the waves of the ocean are infinite as the trees in the forest grow tall let my work now bring me to harvest I am ready to receive my all this is what I mean <laughs> it's harvest we like went through the patience there's a lot of pentacles energy that we'll get to in your tarot but this is very like I can tell that group three has gone through that pentacles energy and now you can finally be at that nine and be at that ten of pentacles where you can enjoy the harvest you can enjoy the abundance and i feel like there needs to be this like wrapping up a chapter of like really hard work with maybe not a lot of payoff <laughs> where when this comes through i want you to celebrate the hard work you put in the diligent effort you kept pouring into this this feels sort of similar to like one message I got for group one with they had like double strength cards but for you I feel like it's it's less about the, that specific tarot card and more just like I'm seeing a journey through the pentacle suit where you had to learn a lot about putting this very patient effort in and just learning about material things learning about even like your body and what your body can handle if you feel like there were some days you overworked yourself or there were some days you look back and you're like i may have actually felt better if i had done more <laughs> i've had those days i don't know if i'm crazy group three but i i have definitely had days where i'm like i would probably feel better if i had done more things <laughs> versus those days where you do too much and you're like oh my goodness <laughs> i just need a nap so there's harvest there's abundance reaping rewards that's what it's saying like you're depending on how much you've been putting into this you're definitely at that nine or ten of pentacles energy right now where you get this payoff and it's going to be enough where you can cover your needs and then you have left over to spend on things that matter to you or to save because I'll, I'll get to that but we've got some some of you might be wanting to be saving for the future we've got new beginnings let this magic in my spell clear the space in which i dwell so it's like that's what i'm feeling like is maybe there's some aspects of this last chapter where you did what you needed to do and you learned what you needed to learn but it's just more it's less about dwelling on some like 
lesson, like making your brain go in circles about like what happened, what I need to do. I feel like group three, this was more about just sticking towards what you want and being really realistic and making it happen. And that's what you did. So in June, you get to reap the rewards of that. And there's a lot of there's just victory, harvest, success coming to you. And there's a new beginning and it feels, it feels a lot easier. It feels like you've, when we go through that pentacles energy, we set up a really strong foundation that takes a lot of time. And it's not, it's not flashy. It's not pretty. It's not something that's, it's an energy that's really hard to stick to because there's not usually an immediate payoff unless you're someone who can see the longer term, someone who can see that you're in it for your whole life, that you're in it for the long run. So you want to do things, you don't want to cut corners, you don't want to skip steps because you know that eventually, even if it looks like you got from A to Z faster, you really didn't because you skipped all these things in the middle and now you, you maybe got something sooner but it was like, now you have to go back. <laughs> now we like skipped over some things and was like, oh my goodness, I don't know how to maintain this. I don't know how to save. I don't know how to be like, I don't know how to handle this much abundance. So we've got the four of pentacles. I feel like there may have been a chapter where you had less. You had to learn how to save. You had to learn how to keep that abundance. Or this could also be just your energy. If you feel like your energy was more scattered and it was hard that's it's kind of two ways i see this going where group three is having a victory where they can be a lot more um like refined is that what i'm trying to say directional i feel more directional like this is what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna do this right now and i'm gonna put in my all for this i'm gonna make this happen right now and go towards that and i'm gonna be patient for it and i feel like there's a lot of when we get the king of pentacles too, I'll say that. <laughs> so we're at a place where we have the self-worth that if something happens a little slower, you're not assuming that it means you're terrible, <laughs> that you're not worth it, that, oh my goodness, I must have done all these things wrong. But this is reminding me of a recent reading I did, but it was the queen of pentacles, I think. But you've you've gone through this journey of self-worth and now there's just like external proof this journey of like i know what has value to me and i know what i want to put my energy towards and i know what i want to use my physical energy for and like my physical body like the physical energy you have what is worth that literal physical energy i feel like group three moving into june like you would have no problem <laughs> and maybe some people who take things personally might have a problem but I'm like, it, it comes through in kind of a funny way. Like if you don't have the energy or if it's not worth your energy, you would have no problem saying, oh, I'm going to set that one out. I mean, you can say it nicely. You don't literally have to say that's not worth my time. <laughs> that's not worth my energy, depending on what's going on. But I feel like group three in June, a lot of good things are happening for you. A lot of abundance is coming to you and just feeling very like, luxurious almost almost similar to the the empress energy from group two but it's it's different it's like specifically knowing when to spend your energy or spend your abundance and knowing when to conserve your energy and conserve your abundance i feel like you're really good and it, it's kind of like it's probably both <laughs> It probably is both. Like, I feel like if group three, if it was more obvious that you were learning about your body's energy, I feel like in June, you're realizing this is also affecting the way you view your abundance. But the same, but flipped. If group three, you feel like you had a lot of hard times with money, um, like you were an overspender or you were overly frugal or both. I feel like a lot of us have been both at some point in our lives, <laughs> like, saving for no reason like we won't go do that thing that we know would be really enriching versus like sometimes we impulse buy but you've got the nine of swords and the four of swords so i feel like there's just some anxieties some worries that are just coming to rest they're just going to rest <laughs> some things that used to really really worry you and this could be i am not a doctor i can't diagnose but if it's pentacles energy 
you're just gonna have to take this as it resonates, but this could have to do with things relating to your physical body, depending on what your health journey is, things you're worried about are getting put, like your mind's getting put at ease. But I feel like this is also financial anxieties. Wherever you're at right now financially, this most likely means that both your financial situation and your mindset around finances are shifting a lot in June. I don't know what's going on. There must be some kind of raise. There must be some kind of generous offer towards you. Someone's just offering you money or something. Because <laughs> if we're at victory and harvest, that king of pentacles, of course, that, that abundance is being spent on things that have value to you because we've got the four of pentacles and the king. But there's just, it's not, your decisions aren't coming from a place of anxiety. They're coming from a place of high self-worth and what has value. And that's so different. I feel like that might be the new beginning. Of course, you're still going to have things you worry about, group three. Don't feel guilty. Like, Everyone has things they worry about. <laughs> but this new beginning is just taking up so much less space in your mind. And it's having less, if there's anyone in group three that's had worries and anxieties that were so bad that it stopped you from taking chances and it actually took a toll on your body. It made you more tired. I feel like group three, one of the groups, there must be some, some people who couldn't choose between group two and three because there are some similarities. This Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, this could just mean also for some in Group 3 that your sleep is getting better, that you're feeling better rested. But I feel like that starts from a mental place where there's something that was just taking up way too much room in your mind. That's just, it's feeling a little easier. It's feeling a little softer, cozier. Like life is feeling a little softer and cozier. <laughs> And that doesn't mean like you're a doormat or anything. It just means life is feeling a little softer and cozier. And I feel like there's things that you've been trying to build up group three that you get a victory that just it really impacts your self-worth in a really beautiful way. And you're like, I put in all this energy, finally getting a win, finally getting a victory and getting that abundance, getting that payoff, whatever it is. I know I told you, but if this is not money and financial that's okay just take my example for a different situation <laughs> for a different area but it's like you finally get that payoff so i feel like that's just gonna do wonders for even those worries of am i doing enough am i like am i moving in the right direction so you can maybe even bring in some new energy and it's not saying you stop focusing on this thing. Like for example, if it is a business you've been building, if it's like a personal brand you've been building, something like that, it doesn't mean that you stop focusing on it, but it could be that this energy, the nine of swords energy, all that energy that was taking up, is you can put that towards something new, a new beginning, whether that's you taking better care of yourself, you having more time um, to take some time off, to just enjoy time alone, to go, like go hang out with groups one and two who I saw being super social. <laughs> maybe maybe you have the energy for it one night out of the month where they're like more like party animals. <laughs> Something like that. You know, better sleep. This could also be advice like prioritizing your sleep. If it's King of Pentacles, Four of Swords, definitely prioritizing, making sure that you've got that foundation because we don't want to take these lessons we learn and just throw them in the trash because things get easier. It just means you can integrate these lessons in a way that just feels easier. It's less of an um, uphill battle. You've got the lessons learned, you know what you need to know, and now you can use those things to reap rewards. That's what I'm seeing. So <laughs> that's what I have for you, group three. Thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful month ahead of you and I'll see you next time.